All right. How y'all doing? This is part four. Four piece. Uh, before I get into, we get into part four. <clears throat> Let you know, reading the United Independent Competent Story, the code system concept. Look at it. I chose a paragraph that I wanted to read because I want you to hear. This is class number four. But before we get into class, you already know, we must pay all due respects to the creator because without the creator... Who are we? But we are the creator. The creator is us. And you don't understand the concept because you want to believe you're a lower form. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Amun. For those, you know, you, when I say I'm like, I'm basically saying peace unto you. That's what I'm saying. All right? It's peace unto you. It's just like saying hello, how you doing? You know, some of y'all just, you know, I'm going to break it down just again. Just like only a minute. Just give me this little minute before we get into Neely Fully's book, Junior. Before we get into his book. You see me using different hand signals and hand. It's not. A lot of you, like I said, when you don't understand what's going on. You become afraid. You, you get nervous. Why is this and how come this? Stop it. Stop it. Do your research. You shake hands all the time. Hmm? They used to shake hands like this. You see this? You see my handshake? They used to shake hands like this in ancient times. Hmm? What do the handshake means? We okay. Everything's fine. At that point in time, peace. Handshake means everything is supposed to be accurate. Handshake is supposed to mean everything is settled. Your word is your bond. And you shook the hand to seal the deal. Different meanings, different ways of dealing with things. So when you see me put my hands up in this, and this is a mini. Come across in the X form, the X form, hands up. Ancient Egyptian symbols. Then I bow my head down out of respect. Um, these were other gods. Amun was a that was a that was a, that was a, that was a man that really existed. Hmm? The creator is you. And the creator has created us all. But we do not want to accept this. You don't. You allowed yourself to be less than because they taught you to be less than some of you already know that your father and your mother your grandmother your grandfather your uncle and had told you to be great listen to how they talk to you to be great to be great to be great become somebody great become somebody great why do you think they tell you these things you could be somebody great you could be somebody special. It's a reason why. So when you hear me say we are gods on earth, you are because you're great. You a king, you a queen, because you're great. You are brother and sisters, the symbols that we are brothers and sisters. You ladies and gentlemen, because you your behavior. Is gentleman like, lady like. You understand? This is what class is all about. I'm just a messenger. I'm just bringing it to you. This is number four. So as I'm saying this to you, 
Now I'm going to entwine Nelly Fuller Jr.'s book, The United States, not the United States, excuse me, The United Independent Competent Story, Code System Concept, The Textbook Workbook for Thought, Speech, and, uh, and or Action for Victims of Racism, White Supremacy. Now, before I get the book, do you understand what white supremacy means? Now, I've told you, but do you understand what it means? White supremacy doesn't mean all white people. No. White supremacy will destroy their own people. Sacrifice them too. But we cannot collaborate with a lot of them because a lot of them are bigots. A lot of them don't have no care in the world for any melanin people. They don't have no care about even some cultures because in their mind we was on this in America first and they don't they don't realize your ancestors wasn't here first. You could tell when they ain't did no real studying. All they care about is when their ancestors came to America, dropped down, got off that boat, walked on that sand. And then from now on, from that point on, babies after babies after babies was developed, which is generation after generation. That's all they care about. They don't want to know their origin, either king, was from the European concept, Saxon, mm, Britain, mm, Romania, mm, their origins. They don't want to know that. So these people, they bigots. You understand? Racism means I control you. All of you. And the ones we really sacrifice is the melanin people. Oh, they don't want to kill us all because they know we have the prize. We are the prize. We are the chosen one. Or we are. White supremacy who study, they per se didn't study, but people before them studied about our melanin people. And our melanin people gave them information. Understand this. So let's get into the book. I took, a, I took a paragraph out of the book. I want you to listen. Before speaking about what others are saying or doing to eliminate racism, white supremacy, quote unquote, ask yourself these questions. Ready? Are others doing what they should be doing? What should others be doing? Are others telling the truth? What are others saying that is not true? What am I doing to eliminate racism? Why aren't the people who are interested in eliminating racism following my example? Instead, are following the example of those who, whom I disagree. Instead of complaining about what others are doing to eliminate racism, why haven't I put my ideas into practice the way that others have put their ideas into practice? If my ideas have been put into practice and they are the correct ideas, then why haven't my ideas succeed in eliminating racism? What suggestion do I know, I mean, do I now have that will do the most in the short period of time towards eliminating racism? Oh, just in case if you need to see it. Those who have this book will know. I read from here all the way down. Okay? So you won't think I'd just be making it up. 
So if you have this book, go to page 132. Politics is at the top. Politics, you go to 132. It's in the middle of the page. Okay? Those who have the book. Those who don't, get it. Understand that. Now see, you're not going to learn nothing if you don't get nothing. See, you understand? You're not going to be able to transform yourself if you don't transform yourself inside. Then transform yourself outside. You understand? When you believe what you believe in, you're going to transform yourself inside. And then you're going to transform yourself outside. You're going to manifold. You're going to eliminate the things you... You thought that was true. You gonna eliminate those things and reconstruct to truth inside your true being, not the flesh. You're supposed to control the flesh off the top. Racism. Do you know what it means? What melanin people is controlling? Melon people here in America. Here in America. Hmm? You ready? Here we go. You put your money in the bank. You don't own it. They tell you how much money you can take out. You don't own it. If you decide to use your credit card at a certain amount of time, don't you know they'll block it? Because they have a pattern. They study your pattern and how you use your money. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you. Y'all don't even notice. They study your pattern and how you use your money. So if you all of a sudden want to start going online to buy things online, that's the thing that a lot of people is doing now. They will block your credit card because in their minds, on the way they have studied the pattern, I guess the computer sees how you spend your money, someone else is using it. It's a good idea to block thievery. I understand that. To block thievery. Because people will be stealing and using people's credit cards. So then you you have to be sacrificed because they don't want your card to be stolen or be stole and then being used and you lose all your money because it's not about you, you see. I want you to be pay I want you to pay attention. I want to I want you to pay attention how you caught up in this. We all caught up in this. Unless you leave all that stuff alone and go the natural way of life. See you think they helping you. They only helping you less than a percentage. Because if somebody did steal that credit card and spend it all up, they call you and says, listen, you owe $2,500. You go, I ain't spent nothing. I have not bought none of these things because they don't belong to me. Well, guess who lose money? The bankers who represent them as credit cards. You understand? It's not about you. It never had been about you. You're just a consumer. That's all you is. They're using you to spend money to buy products, but guess you got to pay that shit back. You start all over again. You, you ain't got nothing. Where are you making a value of this? Where are you getting value of this? Unless you buy things that's important. Books and stuff like that and and you, you change your attire to transform yourself. That's meaningful. Money-wise, financially, you don't win because you're a consumer. You are trapped in this white supremacy. These are small little details that you don't know. Understand this. You should only have one credit card, to be honest, one or two, two credit cards. You don't need no more than that. Some of y'all got about 10. Listen, I've been there. I used to have 20. I ain't going to even lie. Class number four is at the end. 
Peace. This ain't over. I'm Chocolate, I'm in Raw. Peace.